Of all the things Portsmouth is known for, this one may surprise you. Even in the frigid ocean breezes, in the dead of winter, you may find a different type of tourist heading for the water, scuba divers. Those that dive year round, um, especially this time of year, diving with special uh, uh, gear, um, specifically to keep themselves warm. So they're diving with what they call dry suits. They come to Pierce Island each winter and don heavy equipment to see what's underneath the waters of the Piscataqua River. Out of all the dive sites around here, there isn't anything to my knowledge that it's that's like that. I've dived on Pierce Island many times. It's one of the best dive sites in the world. With water temps in the upper 30s, the group is heading to about 50 feet down to see something many people have never heard of. A slimy sea tourist about an inch or two long with a funny name that loves Portsmouth Harbor in winter. So, uh, the, Neuter, Bra, Bra, Brankins, how do you say these things? What, what are Neuter these things? Yeah, Neuterbranks. Um, they're, they're, uh, they're basically shellless sea slugs. Experienced divers like Louis Figueroa love trekking to Portsmouth in winter, often through snow, to see these nudibranchs. You're constantly amazed by the different ones that you see each time. That You never see the same ones over and over. It's in the animal kingdom of mollusk in a class called gastropod, but it's basically a snail without a shell. Andrea Deese is an underwater photographer. She, like many other divers, comes back every year and dives in the frigid water to capture images of the nudibranch in its natural environment. We have about I would say maybe roughly 32 species in the Northeast. And I've um, found and photographed over the years 14 species just at Pierce Island. So why do they come here, you may ask? Each winter, the colorful creature knows there's lots of food right off Pierce Island. The reason why they're very predominant, specifically in that site, is the primary food source uh, the abundance of the seasort, they feed off of what they call hydroids. Only a short distance from shore, these divers can find fields of those hydroids, basically underwater plant-like organisms that taste great to nudibranch. What's uh, unique about the site is that it, it drops down immediately and there's there's a wall and, and that's where the, the hydroid colonies are. Has it become sort of a scuba tourist attraction? It is. It's, uh, well, the, the water in general is a tourist attraction in my eyes. David Coyle runs Aquatic Specialties in Merrimack, where they teach and run guided tours for all levels of scuba divers. But to see the famed nudibranch in winter, you need a few things. One, you gotta be okay with really cold water. To be clear here, 39 degree water, pretty good yes. for you. <laughs> It is, it's perfect, it was, I was totally warm. Also, and this is important, you need to be an experienced diver. It is a, um, can be a dangerous dive if you don't know what you're doing. These divers only go in during what's called slack tide because the currents are really strong here. It's always recommended to go with an expert who knows this challenging and unique area. People are generally amazed to see that amount of color in the Northeast. They, they think that everything up here is gonna be gray or brown or... Jerry Shine is a writer and scuba diver who literally wrote the book on nudibranchs. One of them, anyway. 
Nudibranchs are incredible animals. They are, they are one of the most amazing animals on Earth. Not only are they physically very beautiful, but they do things that scientists still don't understand. Some of them are six or seven inches long. Those are the big ones. Those are the Godzillas of, of nudibranchs. Others are, are a quarter of an inch uh, in length. You might be able to tell Jerry is fascinated with these alien-like creatures, which is why he's done dozens of winter dives in Portsmouth with his camera in tow. While a sea slug doesn't move fast, finding them and getting a good photo takes practice. A lot of times I've got a magnifying glass down there trying to make sure I'm photographing the front end and not the back end. Because sometimes you just can't tell until you see it blown up on your computer screen. By March, these beautiful shellless creatures start moving on. They'll be back again next winter, and they'll have the company of scuba divers who know New Hampshire has good diving any time of year. You're seeing something and, and experiencing something that so few people in the world get to experience. Um, these are creatures that most people have never even heard of. Mm -hmm.